Engineers make the world a better place. They also have a responsibility to the public. Their structures and designs have to be safe and protect human life. One of the best ways to make sure engineers are qualified is through getting the proper licensure and accreditation. This is critical in assuring national standards. Guidelines and ethics are followed across the engineering profession. I think it's important to be a licensed engineer too in the profession and what that really means is that you've gone through a certain accreditation both in terms of school and experience. So it's greatly important that this process is set up and followed so that people become accredited in a very documented way. A professional engineer, also known as a PE, has gone through the proper licensure process. But what does that mean? So the professional engineer means I can stamp drawings, I can stamp, stamp design, and it, I can stand behind what I've done as an engineer, and it has credibility and transference across many different companies and employers and industries, and it says, I have done the work, and I have, I have demonstrated both the technical knowledge the ethical adherence to the standards and principles of engineering that says I will stand behind my degree. When I see after someone's email signature that they have comma PE or PNG or in the UK it's CNG, this is very important because what it really means is to me is that this person has gone through uh, both the schooling and experience to get to that, to get that license, to get that designation. So there's also a fair amount of trust behind it when you see those designations behind someone's name. For structural engineers that build extreme skyscrapers, getting their professional engineering license is critical to working and excelling in the field. As a structural engineer, it is very important for us to get uh, uh, qualified to be a licensed engineer, uh, to get the proper accreditation uh, to have uh, your professional engineer license. Not because you want to have a title as a PE, but it is important for any engineers to meet a minimum standard for engineering, for the safety, for the public safety, and for quality control and quality assurance. Whether engineers are building the tallest buildings in megacities or installing water systems in developing nations, a professional engineering license assures that national standards are being met. Since I've become involved with Engineers Without Borders, uh, working on water distribution projects and things that you can frequently do in the developed world, uh, there is a great value to have your professional engineering uh, certificates, and it's something I'm actively looking into to pursue to continue my work with Engineers Without Borders. To be a PE is not that difficult uh, because there are guidelines and minimum requirement uh, you can you can follow through. I encourage everyone to go for it. Uh, as soon as, uh, as possible. It's important for the public to know that there is a licensure process for engineers. Having a system in place that is dedicated to advancing the standards and practices for engineers is not only good for the industry, it is good for the public as well. Engineers are the makers of our world. Let's make sure best practices are in place to ensure a safe, sustainable planet.